Hello everybody, this is Etho, and welcome back guys. We're playing some more Ark Survival again today. And we are about to do something crazy here. I am very scared, very worried. So there's been a new update, guys, to the game. Again, a bunch of new crazy cool stuff has come out. We got like swords and shields, and they, the big thing though... They added a new dinosaur to the game, the Giga... something, Giga... Utopia, Bruce Lee, Ninja Puncher, Explosive, Saurus of some sort. <laughs> this guy is the boss, man. He is nothing like a T-Rex or anything. There it is right there. Like, this thing is on a whole new level. And you look, I looked at the wiki page for this guy. It's like, oh yeah, he's a big dinosaur, but he's slow and he's uh, he's not very dangerous unless he corners you. No. <laughs> this thing is insane. He just kills like everything in a single bite. It has over 100,000, 200,000 health a lot of the times. Um, I was on earlier with like Pomus and... Oh, what's this bird doing to me? Leave me alone, bird. And fox, and... Uh, oh, darn it. Okay, that's going to be a problem. Okay, we got to re reseed our bird now. Yeah, I'm really worried about this thing, because... He's going to kill us. <laughs> I'm almost certain. Alright, I've come up with a plan that I think is going to work pretty good here. So we're going to stay on the the Quetzal here and just and uh, trank him from up up above in the sky so high. I have brought all my narcotics, like 3,000 plus, like 500 trank arrows, four crossbows. I'm I'm going to be here a while. Oh yeah, and I brought my Enduro stew. Okay. Yeah, we were on earlier though. We t we did tame one of these as a group. Let's see how this goes as a solo project though. <laughs> oh, I did hit it. I did hit it there. Oh snap! I don't know where to bring them. Here, maybe we can le leer them off the edge. We gotta find somewhere that's gonna be easy to uh, to get them. Where'd he go? Because I don't want him moving around all over the place. He's a very good climber, too, is the other really scary thing about him. Ah, maybe I can get him from here. Or at least get his attention from here. Yikes. I feel like he can reach me from here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's so tall. So big. Alright. I'm gonna start the trank process. Nope. Oh, you moved. Oh, I shot my bird. He, he lost. He lost his attention on me for some reason. Oh no, he's going. He saw someone else. He saw someone else, and now he's leaving. Don't leave me. <laughs> oh. turn a little bit better. There we go. This is a sweet shot right here. Perfectly stuck now. Okay, that's our first 50 trank arrows into the face. The Quetzal is working out very well here. Very well. Because whenever he moves, I can just reposition my bird and get a nice clean shot like this. Alright, so this is our first hundred Trank Arrows now, <laughs> into the face. I have no idea how many, how many it's going to take here. Um, by the way guys, thank you very much for all the support on the last episode where we did the PvP fight. Seems like you guys enjoyed that quite a bit. We had a lot of fun with it. It was, it was really cool. Uh, I think we're planning on doing another one soon where we're kind of switching sides. So invaders will be defenders, defenders will be invaders, and uh, should be pretty fun. 
Oh, there it goes. Alright, that's 200 Trank Arrows now. My potion's just about to wear off here. And we hit the 250 points. Oh! Oh, he's down! He's down. I hope I didn't shoot him again there. Woohoo! <laughs> I did it! I got him down. That's the hard part. I think. I hope. I believe he loses Torpor very fast. 55,000! Holy smokes! 300,000 health. Yeah, this guy's a boss. An absolute boss. Okay, let's start uh, transferring over these narcotics. And I'm going to have to hunt for Prime and all kinds of crazy stuff here. <laughs> uh, it's going to be pretty tricky. Alright, so if we spam narcotics... Is it going up? Yeah, okay, so his Torpor is going up now. That's good. So I can keep up with uh, giving him these at least. So I'm going to have to like constantly spam him. I don't think he will stay under very long if I uh, just leave him. So I'm probably going to have to like just go and farm Prime as I can here. Go for some damage. Look at what I have to deal with here. These are the worst taming conditions ever. Got like a blizzard with fog and oh my goodness. This guy's re regaining his torpor so fast. I gotta farm the prime by myself. This is gonna be so tricky. Alright. Let's see how he's doing. Or she, I guess it's a she, isn't it? Okay. The only thing I really got going for me is they they lose food pretty slow, so I can keep up with gathering prime, I think. Already need to give it over a hundred narcotics. How fast can I spam the click button here? <laughs> That's what this is going to come down to. Look at that speed. Oh, baby. Alright, I'm going to give him all these too. Or her. Because it takes the Torpor a little while to catch up, so... It's fine if you overdo it a little bit too. Alright, i got to go find more Prime. Okay, let's check again. I got, I think, two, maybe three more pieces. Oh, just two. Man, <laughs> I need more prime. That's this is really tough. Okay, we're actually keeping up. Not too bad though. So if I spam him, if he's fifty thousand down, and I spam him two hundred, that seems to be a good uh, stabilization point for him. Just gotta spam him as quick as I can here, and then leave for prime right away. Alright, let's check his taming bar, too. <laughs> this is so silly. Uh, do I have more narcotics, or was that it? Okay, he's got a long ways to go here. They're not on him, they're on my uh, Ketzel here, right? Oh good, we do have more. I better grab these, just in case something happens to this bird. Whoa! No, 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 don't. Don't you do that around here. My bird's low on health, too. Okay, guys. Okay, settle down, everybody. Don't you attack that big T-Rex over there. Oh, no, that's a T-Rex. T-Rex in the area. <laughs> Get away from my tame. You crazy fool. He's right over there. Caught him just in time. He's gonna eat my Getzel. Alright, good. Good, good. Alright. She. Oh, Torpor has gone down a lot. <laughs> uh, do we need to increase it? Yeah, we probably do. Yikes, that went down a ton since I last checked it. Oh, that was it. That was enough. Woohoo! <laughs> um. Oh man. Giga. Giga Bowser. Giga. Bruce Lee. 
Let's do Giga Bruce Lee. Sure, why not? <laughs> or let's do Bruce Luce, Bruce Lucy Lou. Giga Bruce Lucy Lou. Sure, perfect name. Okay, so look at these stats, guys. They're absolutely crazy. It did have 300,000 health when it was a wild one, but it, it dropped down to about 120,000, which is just crazy. Like, that's... <laughs> that is nuts. Like, you're... Your perfectly trained T-Rexes or Spinos are probably going to have about twenty to 30,000 health at the most. And just like when you finish taming this thing, like any level of these guys, even a level 1, is going to be over 100,000, which is just nuts. Um, Torpor, over 100,000 as well. The oxygen is really low, though. Like, if you take this thing in the water, that's probably the best chance of you killing it here let's go let's see if we can find anything to kill come on come on all right <laughs> look how fast it is too like this thing is just all around super godzilla mode here <laughs> all right Go have some fun, man. Do your thing. One bite. One bite killed it. Like, that's that's just way overpowered. <laughs> killed the level 88 Argentavis with one bite. Alright, let's take out this mammoth. It's just so scary. Like, if... Man, if you were to fight something like this, there's just no way you could deal with it. Two bites on a 56 Rex. Alright guys, so... <laughs> had kind of a funny convoy getting back here. Found a 120 Mammoth on the way, so I decided to bring it back home. I might tame it. Found a Red Drop. Oh, and a Rex Saddle! Oh my goodness. I've never found a Rex Saddle blueprint before. Awesome. I was I was starting to doubt that you actually could find them, but it looks like you can. I've gotten spinal ones before. But never the legendary Rex ones. Okay. So yeah, this is what I'm doing to get back home. I put my bird on top. Like a so. And this guy's following us. Pick up the mammoth. <laughs> oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. Come back. Oh, I lost my bird. It's all chaos now. I think I just... I think I just glitched the mammoth through the floor. Darn it, I think I just killed the mammoth. Oh no, I grabbed it. I grabbed it again. Come on! <laughs> oh yes, I fished it out. Oh man, that was close. This thing is so scary. Alright guys, so we made it back to base here. Um, Putsy ended up coming online. I asked if he wanted the mammoth, because he didn't have one yet. And he had the kibble and everything for it, so he was he was really happy with that. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to do with Giga Bruce Lucy Lou Lee here. I was calling her Bruce Lee at first, and then I remember it was a female, so that's that's how the Lucy Lou got slipped in there, by the way. <laughs> um, she's leveled up a few times. Every upgrade I've put into melee damage has increased it by 7.5%. Uh, but we can't actually ride ride her around with a saddle yet, because you got to be level 85 to make that thing. I think it's this one over here. And level 85 is at like 323,000 XP, so I'm only two-thirds of the way there. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of time before we can do that. So I'm just going to keep her over here a little ways away from our base, because she goes into rage mode if, uh, if she takes damage, and then I think she'll just destroy everything at our base if I'm not careful. So I don't really want her around uh, where we live. So, yeah. <laughs> so maybe... Oh, yeah, I wanted to show you this, too. Guess what Guess what happened? She actually laid an egg. Like, the chances of that are so low because she's not mate-boosted. But I got an egg off her. 
and this is what it looks like. Isn't that insane? It's taller than me. <laughs> I I've never seen such a big egg. It's ridiculous. Uh huh. So maybe, uh, guys, let's try out this the new swords and stuff today as well. The swords and the shields. So I'm very curious how that works. There's three shields. There's the wood one. Um, I think there's a metal one then. Let's see if we can find it on our list here. Okay, there's a sword. I think there's only one sword though. You need a you need the wooden club. Really? Okay. Learn the sword. Oh yeah, and the metal shield's right next to it. So it's a little bit higher down the list here than like the pike. So I think it might be like a level 25 thing. And then way down at the bottom here, I saw there's even a riot shield. That's probably the one I'm going to make. Yeah, right here. Polymer and crystals. Okay. Can I make any of those? I can make the wooden shield. Maybe I'll just do that right now since it's easy. Let's chop down a couple trees here. This bird, by the way. I, I never really liked the pterodons too much, but this was a level 120. Tamed it with kibble. It's like the best he can get. And I've upgraded the movement speed to over 200%. Damage to over 100,000. And it's actually really powerful now. Like It does less damage than an Argentavis, but it attacks faster, I think. So it, it sort of works out to even, or better even. But it can't carry very much stuff. Okay, so that goes into your arm. Oh yeah, and it's just like Minecraft, so you just hold right click to bring up the shield. Whenever you want it. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I might try to see if I can do a little duel with other guys, see if they want to do that. We'll try it out for real. Like, it seems to that. it seems to cover the whole body, the little wooden shields, like... Well, the metal shield seems about the same size. Yeah, the metal shield's pretty big, too. The wooden that shield's really cool. small, What's though. What's the difference, then, between the two? The durability, I think, is the big deal. And the weight. Okay. Oh, yeah, What's the weight on the metal one? Uh, It's 45. Oh, durability yeah. 750, 720. Uh, I guess the riot shield is... The riot is 30 weight. Yeah. And the wooden nice one's there. 15. Yeah, three, two, one. The flare did nothing. <laughs> Can't see you. The shield, the shield blocks everything. Oh, you can hear the little team from it. <laughs> oh man, that was fast. That was so fast. Proxy, count it down. Uh, okay, three, two, one. I'm a win. <laughs> no. Can't see. <laughs> it's so it's hard. So dark. With how dark it is. Am I swinging or not? <laughs> it feels like I am. It's hard to tell when people are behind you. Yeah, I know. I don't like the metal shield very much. Ooh, that hurt. Nice, bro. That hurt. <laughs> I think I'm spraying blood right now. <laughs> oh, even with the armor or with the shield equipped, you were able to get me there. Did you run behind? I was on the side Ooh. of you. Oh. I'm gonna come get that booty. The there's a bit of a delay with the oh. swing itself. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm here for signatures, like I'm the queen of the ring, I can, you know, sign stuff for you guys. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> I was just I'm in there. testing okay. mode, that wasn't a real fight. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. We were just testing. Exactly. <laughs> this next one's we, for real. Did for we all the marbles. The real one? I did very nice. Alright, right, everybody I ready? Oh, no. False alarm, wait. Ooh, armor. I'm in the bad corner. <laughs> bad corner. Don't die in the bad corner. <laughs> yeah, I moved corner. Oh, I moved to the wrong corner. Proxy's just gonna wail on you when we start. <laughs> <laughs> you, I was hoping he wouldn't notice. He didn't see you. Do you want to uh, do another flare? I got a flare yeah. ready. Are you serious? 
You guys ready? I'm just gonna hold yep. you. Fox, yeah. you gotta do the countdown this time. Me? Yeah. Okay, go. <laughs> I like it. Yep, that's the efficiency for you. <laughs> Oh. Ooh. Yeah, someone's getting hurt. Fox, you're in the middle. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. Monkey in the middle. Where'd. F oh no, I lost her. <laughs> <laughs> this is so chaotic, actually. I think oh. I understand it finally. I'm having such a hard time seeing any of you. Yeah, I'm gonna do another flare. I'm trying to dodge you as I do it. How are we still alive? <laughs> We've gotten better. Your yeah. testing has worked out. Oh. Oh, you're in a corner. <laughs> I really can't see anything <laughs> when I use a shield. It's like I totally lose you. <laughs> oh, you know the trick too, though. No wonder you keep winning. I don't know what this trick is. Oh, I heard you do it. I saw you do it. Did you eat? Yeah. Are you eating? I haven't eaten yet. You well, you should run I more. I have food on me. Uh-oh. Shield's down. Away. Oh, I, I accidentally exited out of the, ground, not the game. <laughs> Disqualified. No. <laughs> How is my stuff not breaking like your guys? You're hacking. Ah. One down. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so dark I didn't see you. Oh. Ah! Okay. I give up on the flare. Like the worst time. <laughs> yeah! Oh, you did it! <laughs> no more testing. Testing time is over. Alright everyone, so that was, that was a lot of fun. We did a few fights there. Kind of got used to the new sword and shield mechanics. The sword seems very good. I gotta say, let's do an actual test now. So we have a sword and a pike. I want to see how they compare. These are your basic level things, so 100%. They both have the same durability at the base level, so 40. The sword only weighs 5. The pike is twice as heavy. But the sword costs 5 times more metal. It's 50 instead of 10 to make it, so it costs a lot more. Let's see what the damage is like on dinos, though. Actually, let's take the saddle off so we get a real reading, too. Okay, so sword. That did a lot of damage. 162-ish. And I have... What's my melee? 180% melee. Oh. Okay, let's, let's heal him up, and then we'll try the pike. What did I say? 162? I think that was right. Nom, 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 nom. Eat up, Raffle Stomper. You need your strength. Okay, now let's go for the pike. Oh, yeah, and interestingly, you can't use the shield with the pike. It just goes away because this is a two-hand weapon. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was only 99 damage. So, in comparison, the sword is like 1.6 times stronger. Maybe even more. All right, that's good to know. I like that. I I like any time I can use a weapon or armor that's lighter. So if it's lighter, definitely prefer that then. If it does more damage. Uh huh. And by the way, the trick I kind of realized towards the end there is you you hit left click then right click and hold it. Kind of like this. So you can pretty much be guarded the whole time. You just left and right. When you want to attack again, you can still move around. Left and right again. That way you're always protected. So that's pretty cool. It's actually really useful. Uh-huh. All right, guys. We're going to finish up this episode. I found an Alpha T-Rex out in the wild. I haven't seen one of those in a very long time. I'm, I want to go kill it. All right. I finally found it down there. Here's the plan. I'm going to first weaken it up with my Argentavis here, hopefully. Then I'm going to have to guess it though because I can't see the blood spots on it. It's only a level 8 uh, Alpha T-Rex here. 
Once I get it weakened down, though, I'm going to shoot it from on top of the Quetzal with my crossbow. And hopefully I get all the XP out of it that way. And the trick with these guys seems to be just, like, hover above them. It's pretty easy to kill them with an Argent Davis. Oh, there we go. Finally got him. Woohoo! Okay, I was at 213,800 before, I believe. So, yeah, I got about 3,000 off that. I don't know if it's really worth uh, taking the time to shoot it with a crossbow. Because <laughs> in that time, I could have killed so many other animals and just gotten the XP anyway. Anyways, we did it. It was an experiment. Anything good on Mr. T-Rex here? Oh, we got an Alpha Rex trophy. Placed it on a trophy wall mount. Interesting. Oh, and we got a costume. Very cool. All right, I'm happy with that. All right, cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will uh, see you guys again in the next one. But until then, thank you for watching. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>